Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. I want to share a video with you that I think is, um, is well, uh, using discernment. If this is from the Lord, this is very, very important. And I, I totally believe it. This, this election has been something else. I do believe Trump was really uh, elected and then false votes were brought in and then it shows that the Electoral College put Biden in. Now, this person, her channel is looking towards the heaven for Jesus. I've heard her a few times and um, the title is Word. Biden sits on one of many thrones of darkness that shall fall. I'd like to play it for you from the six minute, ten second mark for a little bit. The nations and or its people or idols, those things will be brought low. And there's coming a time where even though the Antichrist is rising up for a short time, the Lord, he will be known in this earth. And every knee shall bow and every tongue will confess that he is the Lord God Almighty. And holy, holy, holy is he, the King of glory. Hallelujah. Amen. So basically, uh, so so what does it mean with what's unfolding now in, in this talk about of assassinations well you know there's no winners here because with the assassinations that will go forth the son of perdition he will sit on his throne of darkness as well and he will rise up with the new world order and this new government will be implemented by Barack Obama Hussein, Barack Obama Hussein, Barack Hussein Obama, excuse me, and there, you know, there, there will be dark days upon this nation, dark days, and with all this allowed to happen, there will be more darkness over this nation and, and its people, and as well as in, in the world and other nations. Darkness has been given a little bit more space here now to move. Um, it has been allowed, and um, but you know the Lord knows Biden's heart. He searches all men's hearts. He sees into his heart. He knows what's there, and you know, and and he knows what his judgment will be. And okay, I'm going to stop it there. Um, she basically says that. They are both going to be assassinated. Now, I heard this last night on Grafted in Team Jesus. I did sit in and listen with them for a while. And, um, boy, I tell you, I was like, I was kind of floored because so many prophecies, even that nine-year-old's dream said Trump was elected. Well, <clears throat> I don't know what's going to happen if the vote somehow they find out there's a lot of fraud going on. I just don't know what to think. But the long, long story short, they both get assassinated and it's most likely got to happen before January 20th. So that Biden never really becomes president. You see? <clears throat> because... There's just been too many prophecies about their, the set, how is it worded now? Uh, the kings, oh, it's in Daniel. Let me try to find it. Talks about the kings. Started with Jimmy Carter. I can't remember why. I can never remember why it starts with Jimmy Carter. Okay. Um, and he will be one of the seven. Okay. 
Okay, I don't have enough words in there. The Antichrist is going to be one of the seven. Oh, come on. What, what are you chewing up now? Stop it. Stop it. You chew up your toys all you want. You have a thousand of them. Pick one. All right. The seven kings talking about the last seven presidents. And it says the eighth will be one of the seven. Okay, so that cannot include Biden. If Biden is really elected and he's going, he is president elect, he's not the president, it has to be true, uh, true that Barack Obama is the Antichrist, which is what the Lord told me two times or three, and probably 200 other people, so many people know it, and his name is in the Bible. When I, Jesus said, and I saw lightning fall from heaven, uh, that verse, when you look it all up in the Greek, says lightning I believe is Barak, from is ur o, heaven, fall from heaven, is Barak, Obama, B-A-M-A-H, Barak, B-A-R-A-K, ur o, Obama, Barak, Obama. Now, is that a coincidence? I don't think so. When I saw lightning fall from heaven. Okay. Um, I can't think of the, I'm not, I'm not, I can't, it's not pulling it up. Let me see if I put up the word scripture, colon. Okay. He. He is the, the, E-I-G-H, T-H, eighth, and is one of the seven. Let's try that. Okay, this, I think it's this one. Revelation 17.11. There are also seven kings. Five have fallen. One is, that would have been the sixth, and the other has not yet come. But when he does, he must remain for only a little while. So that's why I thought he'd be assassinated before now. The beast that was and now is not is an eighth king who belongs to the other seven and is going into destruction. You see, that's the mystery explained. That's the Berean Study Bible. New International, forget that one. Where's the King James? King James Version, the beast that was and is not is himself also the eighth and is of the seven and is going to perdition. All right, well, if you listen to this video, you will see Biden will be going to perdition. He is evil as the day is long. Well, it's getting shorter, so we'll say he's more evil than the day is short. <laughs> anyway, I'll let you go at that. We'll plead the blood of Jesus over this video, the internet connection, over each and every one of us and our devices, okay, and our internet connections. So with that, I'm going to say bye for now. I will talk to you later.